to this I wanted to talk about kind of interestingly enough is this article is this um news article courtesy of hypebeast again regarding brain dead's interesting collaboration with a company called dem skates who of course produce skates and it's got me thinking in general in the uk and i guess in london specifically where i am at and in other cities i've been to like berlin there's been some for some reason i'm not sure why there's been a real uptick in people rollerblading and roller skating in general a lot of roller skating happening especially here in the uk in london loads of roller rinks opening up loads of people going to places like um the olympic uh park or whatever it's called in stratford and skating around places i see people doing it in white city also but anywhere where there's kind of a big concrete space a lot of kids are going out and skating around the circles and i know in certain shopping malls around london as well that are abandoned or certain shopping malls that close after a certain time the shops but they still keep open in terms of people passing through them a lot of people also go to those spaces and basically skate all hours of the night and all that good stuff and for the most part I'm not really a fan of it. Being a lifelong skateboarder, and I've always kind of looked down on people that inline skate because I always thought it was G-A-Y and I always thought it was ridiculously easy compared to skateboarding because you essentially got two skates strapped to your feet and you could essentially perform tricks easier than you could, con con you know, con you could easier than you could perform tricks on a skateboard. To, you know, to, to be able to ollie up and down, let alone ollie up and down curbs, it's far harder to be able to jump down a curb or learning how to stop. It's not even comparable. And also I found that a lot of skaters were really kind of, I don't know, they had a real um, dicky kind of energy about them anyway in general. So I just completely hated it for the most part. I kind of regarded them as like the bane of my life, especially when you go to a skate park. I kind of hated them, even more so than BMX riders. But... Over the last few months, I've kind of softened my stance a little bit, especially with some of the corny skaters you see out and about in London who are doing all these weird shapes and dancing and wearing on purpose like 80s attire and, you know, really funky retro clothing and stuff. It's just really cringe. But part of me has also kind of stepped back and rolled back my kind of, you know, skepticism about it in general. Because a lot of these people that are out there skating are adults, right, who generally probably wouldn't be outdoors performing any kind of cardiovascular exercise if it wasn't involved in skating so the fact that people are outside anyway skating in the best in the sun outdoors meeting new people learning a new skill and just being outside instead of on their phone indoors all the time is quite good because in general when you skate you can't exactly be on your phone similar to skateboarding you kind of have to engage in the act that you're doing so it kind of takes you away from being in front of a screen you know either it's your laptop or your phone that's a good thing and you get to go outside and breath and breathe some fresh air. So that's a definitely a good thing, especially in a country like the UK where, you know, the obesity levels aren't necessarily a good thing or aren't in a good place. So I'm kind of softening my stance to the whole skating thing because people are generally going outside and being humans again. And I really do like this Brain Dead and Dem Skates collaboration. So much so that I'm actually considering getting a pair myself, which is kind of a... Uh, goes against everything i stand for but i really really do like these they really do look absolutely cool and it's funny because this for me proves how important these kind of collaborations are in general in streetwear and just in fashion and in life in general because what they do is that they introduce two different customer groups or they create an entirely new one like someone like myself who kind of didn't really care about skates but before but because i trust a brand like brain dead and i love you know everything that they do carl eng is a real you know genius and what he does i've met him like maybe a couple of times here and there from previous work stuff that i've done and i kind of like how he carries himself i like what he's done with the brand and i forgot the other guy as well that he runs it with but they're fairly decent dudes and shit and because i trust the brand i immediately trust the interest that they're into and it kind of makes me curious to kind of look into it i might not be a fan of it but they at least make me consider it and now that I've seen the skates themselves start in, you know, adorned in this really wicked kind of marbly print, and then the, the the inline skates are just kind of without the little grind. But I don't know what they call it. If you how do you do differentiate them? But essentially, it's a, the same skate boot, but one shoe has the inline skate, and one shoe has the kind of, you know, what do you call it? X Games grinding sort of set of wheels like that, which are white, and they have the little kind of grind bit in the middle. But yeah. And even that picture too, denim shorts with a studded belt, like ugh, skaters are so G-A-Y, they're such a corny outfit, but I like them, man. 
there's something about them that I like. There's something about that I like. There's something about that I'd wear. And I'm legitimately considering getting a pair. I think they're like $399 or some shit. And I think I actually might get a pair just for the look and just to get back out skating again. And look, that's the pair that I'll probably end up purchasing the ones with the smaller wheels and the little bit there where you can grind on stuff. Because I actually enjoyed skating a lot when I was younger. Um, I'd do it here and there, but mostly I stick to skateboarding and I'd usually skate in, you know, in flipping secret. But I got really good at it really quickly. Um, I probably took to skating like this quicker and easier than I did to flipping skateboarding. It took me way easier to learn how to grind, to learn how to jump up curbs, jump down curbs, you know, spin, whatever it may be. Um, that's all really tricks I could do, go backwards and shit. I could do all that stuff really quickly as opposed to learning how to drop in to ollie, to kick flip, to heel flip, to pop shove. Like that took me fucking it. And even to now, I still can't do some of those tricks. So I don't know, man. I think I might have to get back on the skating vibe. What do you guys think in the comments down below? I'd love to hear what your feels, thoughts and feelings are. Should I get back into skating? Is it G-A-Y still? But I really do love these Brain Dead and Dem Skates, Roller Skates collaboration. I think they're fucking amazing. Let me read the text to you quickly. It says Carl Eng's Brain Dead is in this element as it follows up with Vans collaboration and the vibrant five finger Gita with the release of his Dem Skates collaboration. Founded by John Julio, Dem Skates is an offshoot brand from Dem Goods, an independently owned label with its roots in rollerblading and skateboarding. Okay, no idea what they're about. Let me see what Dem Goods are about. I've never heard of Dem Goods or Dem Skateboarding, but I love the fact that they're collaborating with these independent companies, man, that are putting together these cool things. Because back in the day, when we used to buy our skates, you used to get them from fucking Argos. Do you know what I mean? And Littlewoods and Sports Direct and shit. So these kids are making their own fucking skateboards and stuff. It's fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, let me see if I can get... Can I just put the... Okay, you can't put that, so... Loads of skates there, as you can see. Let's see if they've got any skateboards and shit. I can't see the skateboards. Where's the skateboard? They got shoes and boots and trousers, but I don't see any skateboards here. I wonder if the pants that they make too are skate specific, where they've got like a real big um hot, a real big um kind of a pant hole or something to fit over the boots. I wonder if that's a thing, or if they just make the pants similar to any other pant. I wonder. I, I guess it would be a thing, right? If you're skating, you want you want your pants to fit a certain way. Um, but yeah, the match looks pretty decent in general, right? The logo looks pretty cool. Dem Dem. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. To be honest, I'll actually rock the fuck out of this jumper, Hera Gray. Um, shame it's not a Wrangler and sleeve, but this looks fairly decent. Anyway, continuing on the article, um, for the collaboration, Brenda takes Dem Skates. 800 millimeter big wheel frame and applies a signature aesthetic all over branded wheels and a brown and baby blue colorway that sees a tpu impact resistant plastic ufs street skating frame sport a yellow fiery pattern throughout it looking like a bit of a special edition vinyl record if anything combining on a pair while dem skates branding is embossed on the uppers baby blue laces and black synthetic padding coinciding with the launch the label is premiering dear audrey a video premiere and skate release that will air at Bring the studios on Fairfax in Los Angeles. Um, so yeah, they're available now for three nine nine on the sort of website, as you can see here. Um, there they are. They come in sizes excess to large, which is interesting. So I guess it's a size range. I'd be as large, of course, eleven to eleven US. So they'd be pretty decent to check out and wear. I'm actually curious to get a pair. I really would love to get a pair. I'm not gonna lie. I actually would wear the fuck out of it and see what it's about. I'm really, really interested to wear one. I really was obviously get that large pair that looked that was fucking banging 399 not too bad in that shop i'm actually consider getting them when i get paid they actually look pretty decent not mad at all not mad at those at all